everybody. Welcome to the app, our presentation on the new messaging service from Big Brothers Big Sisters of America. So what is it? First of all, it's not actually an app, but rather it's a website. And it's a secure messaging site for all Big Brothers Big Sisters matches. So it allows you as a big to communicate with your little, your little's parent or guardian, as well as Big Brothers Big Sisters and your match support specialist. It's also a place where you can keep a log of the activities you and your little have been doing together. And Big Brothers Big Sisters can send you announcements and reminders about things like your upcoming match contact. Signing up is pretty easy. You don't have to do anything on your end. What will happen is Big Brothers Big Sisters will be sure to enter the email of the big, the little, and the parent or guardian of that child. The Little and the parent can have the same email address. And then parent permission is also required for participation. Once we have all of those things, the match will be enrolled and your match support specialist can alert you once that's happened. The first login will actually happen once you've been enrolled and you'll receive an email that has a welcome message and an opportunity for you to log into the app as well as to create your new unique password. So here is a short video about the bookmark option so that you can put this website somewhere easy to access. All right, so the next short video will show you about the login screen and how to log in. All right, so once you've logged in, you'll see the home page, and this is where you can send messages, log activities, and access that other information. Here is a brief overview. Welcome to the Big Brothers Big Sisters messaging app. Let's take a look around. This is the welcome page. From here, you can do things like send a message, add a new match activity, and access articles and trainings. You can also access the menu, search the app, view notifications and your account information, and see upcoming important dates. To change your password or adjust your email settings, click here. For help using the app, click here. Your match displays on the welcome page. From here, a big can message their little, the guardian and a big brother's big sister's team member. A little can message their big and a big brother's big sister's team member. And a guardian can message their child's big and a big brother's big sister's team member. Only participants in the message will be able to see the information. But remember, big brother's big sister's always has access to all messages. From the menu, you can access match activities where you can add a new match activity or see a list of past match activities entered in the app. 
My Match to see your contact information on file, My Announcements for agency updates and announcements, My Messages to see all messages you've sent to people in your match using the app. For more information about the app, take a look at the Using the App section and check out this article, Information About the App. If you have questions, please reach out to your local Big Brothers Big Sisters team member. We're here to help. All right, so we'll talk a little bit more about sending messages and this video will walk you through. So you may have noticed that instead of hitting post to post your message, that's actually what you'll hit first in order to open a new screen where you can create your message. And then you'll hit share in order to send that out to your little or match support specialist or your little's family. Now keep in mind that when you send the message, it will go directly to the person you've sent, but Information in any post can also be viewed by your match support specialist. So next we'll talk a little bit about how to add activities. So you may notice that when you're adding an activity, it's really a log of something you've already done, not something you intend to do. And please keep in mind the activity should be appropriate for your match based on the program that you and your little are participating in. So community-based matches would have community activities or possibly some virtual activities, whereas our virtual program matches will be doing activities that are virtual. So you can log things like a phone call, pen palling, watching one of our activities on our virtual activity, Zoom calls, or other things like that. The next page uh, is just a review of that. So you're going to choose your match and your match will be the only one that shows up in that drop down option. You'll choose the day and the duration. You'll note where it took place, whether that's in the community, over the phone, et cetera, what the activity actually was. And there are some activities pre 
uh, entered into this log. So choose the thing that's closest to what you did. And you can also fill in the box and type in your own answers. And then you get to score the activity based on how enjoyable it was. It also gives you the option to add if anyone else came along. If you're participating in an activity that we're hosting where other matches are also there, you do not have to include those other people. But if you're inviting someone else to participate, we would like, would like you to include that. So there are a couple of things we wanna let you know about the app. And first of all is the messaging feature does flag some keywords. So if you and your little or you and the parent are communicating, there are some keywords including inappropriate language or language that may be a red flag for safety. And if any of those terms are used, an alert will be sent directly to your match support specialist. Well, we can view all the contacts and a, and a, speci a special email will be sent to us if there's anything concerning. So please be sure that you and your little or you and the parent are communicating in a professional and respectful way. The other thing we'd like you to know is the app will not replace your monthly communication or your quarterly communication for our older matches with the match support specialist. This will just help make those contacts more meaningful because remembering what you did for your activities or how the communication is going is something your match support specialist may already be able to review. So you and your match support specialist can spend more time talking about things like goals you and your little may have or other information about youth development and spend less time worrying about the activities or what the communication between all parties is really looking like. So we've had some questions about the app already. And the first question was, do you want us to communicate only through the app? So we are encouraging that people use the app as much as they can for communication. That helps us provide some um, confirmation about people really making the effort to communicate with one another. However, other communication tools may be better for some people and we're not going to require that all communication goes through the app. The second question is, will the app have a spot for emergency information about our little and any consent information that the parent may have signed, giving the big permission to spend time with their child or perhaps get emergency medical treatment? So the app really is only designed for messaging, communicating things back and forth um, and primarily about activities. So there is not a place where you can keep documents or emergency information about your little. If you have other questions, please contact your match support specialist and we'd be happy to help. Thank you all for joining us and we hope to see you on the app.